Hi dear cricket friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. Your host Ram with your Cricket Happening show today. Well, uh, what are we going to look at today? It's some cricket news and we'll see the uh, the second test or the first day's play in the second test match between England and Sri Lanka. Where Sri Lanka won the toss and rightly elected to field and justified their decision in fielding first by reducing England currently to 150 for 4. And they also made two changes. I'll be talking about that later. But let's first talk about some cricket news. As far as cricket news is concerned, uh, one is, uh, uh, this is coming from Australia. Uh, Jason Gillespie, as you know, the former pace bowler, uh, swing bowler too, pace and swing bowler, did very well for Australia. Uh, in fact, uh, being a, he has that unique record of coming in as a night watchman and hitting a double century. Uh, which was uh, never performed uh, before so he actually holds the world record as far as that is concerned he hit a double century uh, if I'm not wrong it was against uh, Bangladesh I'm not really uh, very confident about that but yes Jason Gillespie is known for that but more mainly he was known for his bowling uh, his bowling uh, he used to uh, bowl very well and he used to swing the ball he had some pace too and he was a very wily bowler actually uh, Jason Gillespie then uh, then actually uh, he retired very early on and then uh, he uh, he was uh, actually assisting the uh, rebel Indian Cricket League um, after which uh, the Indian Premier League came out and actually displaced the Indian Cricket League now Indian Cricket League he was he did well over there he was coaching uh, all the all the players there and then uh, he had a stint with uh, Zimbabwe uh, whereby he was uh, coaching the Reno side um, in the first class uh, cricket there in Zimbabwe he did a fine job and uh, well um, because of uh, whatever he did uh, he merited a place in the Australian coaching um, uh, coaching uh, team I would say and well he got the nod here as he has become uh, Australia A's coach uh, for the upcoming series so uh, that is something the news which is coming in from Australia uh, other than that uh, tomorrow you know uh, India is going to start the series against West Indies. India have landed in, in West Indies. Uh, they have a captain, Shreyas Raina. Harbhajan Singh is the vice captain. So everything is new. Uh, a lot of players are coming first time to the West Indies, like Manoj Tiwari and other players, Shikhar Divan, uh, were making. So uh, it's basically, as far as West Indies are concerned, West Indies have a lot of youth and inexperience in the side. And as far as India is concerned, the same applies inexperience. And there's a bunch of youngsters. Uh, raring to go so basically uh, trying to it's going to be a good battle uh, and what it is going to a, a test really is going to be the bench strength so tomorrow it kicks off uh, with the 2020 game the first 2020 game uh, which would be played between England India and West Indies there so that is the first game which is going to happen tomorrow uh, so one is really eagerly looking forward to uh, to the clash and that because what is what we are one is going to see is how the youngsters are shaping up and that is going to be the key uh, well, so that is as far as uh, that match is concerned. Now, the other news that I have uh, is uh, nothing nothing much. I uh, wouldn't really be able to say any news. What I'm going to do now is going to take you down uh, to the mecca of English cricket, the Lord's Cricket Ground, and look at the latest situation there in the, at the first day's play in the second end power test there. Uh, and also, I know I'll be getting some time, so there will also be some cricket commentary. First, uh, let me talk about this um, particular match here. Uh, well, as you know, Sri Lanka lo losing the first test match uh, in a very, very uh, ungainly fashion. Uh, so right now, uh, Sri Lanka were the ones who actually won the toss today. Uh, and uh, they, they decided to field. And that field, the decision was justified. Now, as far as the sides were concerned, uh, England uh, went with all their bowlers. So they have a tall attack there, broad, tremblet. And Stephen Finn getting the nod ahead of uh, Jay Drainbash. Uh, and uh, as far as Sri Lanka were concerned, well, what Sri Lanka did is uh, they decided to go for more pace as they included Chanaka Velagadra, uh, who really, really justified himself uh, in getting into the squad because he has figures of 10.2 overs, 3 maidens, 28 runs, and 2 wickets currently. And Suranga Lakmal, uh, sorry, Suranga Lakmal was already there, so they had Dilhara Fernando coming on to the scene. And Dilara Fernando, well, uh, so far he has not got any wickets. But the decision was absolutely justified uh, for uh, for uh, Sri Lanka as uh, they had England on real trouble at one stage on 22 for 3. 
uh, first to go was uh, Andrew Strauss. Charaka Velagadra gave them the breakthrough today. Uh, as he picked up Strauss, we get Strauss was LBW ball, Velagadra for four with one boundary. So he was gone. After that, Jonathan Trott, the ECB player of the year, was gone. LBW ball, Suranga Lakmal for two. And these were all ball which was swinging. There was some pace too. Suranga Lakmal was very, very impressive. In fact, he has been very unlucky uh, not to see the edges carry. He has been bowling extremely well. And then Kevin Peterson, well, he didn't give this wicket to a spinner because Suranga Lakmal actually forced Kevin Peterson to play uh, a shot which was away from his body. He leaned into the stroke and Dilshan actually took the catch at the offside. So P Peterson was gone, caught Dilshan bowl, Lakmal for two and England were reduced to 22 for three at that stage. After that, Alistair Cook was there and the other stand and he's still there. He's not out on 66 with 11 boundaries. And Ian Bell combined very well. Ian Bell actually played some beautiful strokes in his score of 52. And both of them took on the score from 22 to 130 uh, when the fourth wicket fell. So that was a good partnership. They actually held the innings together and uh, repaired the damage, uh, whatever had happened. And um, after Ian Bell also played, as I said, very good strokes. But finally, he was out caught Parnavithana as uh, he got an edge to a ball from uh, Velagadra and that went into the slips and Ian Bell was gone, caught Parnavithana, bowl Velagadra for 52 with 8 boundaries. Alistair Cook has been stroking the ball superbly and he has also been uh, doing the anchor role for England and that is what is needed. He is not out on 66 currently with 11 boundaries. Ian Morgan is not out on 18 with 2 boundaries and 162. I will be taking you to some commentary there but before that, just looking at the bowling figures, uh, Velagadra 2 for 28 and Lakmal 2 for 38. So basically, uh, whatever the changes that has been done has really worked out. As Chanaka Velagadra has already proved himself by taking two wickets for 28 runs. Now, as I said, I'm going to give you some uh, cricket commentary right now. Let me take you down to the match. The current score uh, right now says 151 for four. And in comes Velagadra. Well, they, there was a six which was hit by Morgan. Uh, actually, I hit um, Herath on the onside for a six. So. Uh, I was a bit surprised, uh, one thing, dear fans, and what was that was, uh, Tissera Pereira was left out. Ajanta Mendes, I could uh, really agree with that. Rangana Herath probably had that um, upper hand against Kevin Peterson. He's a left-arm spinner too, and he's more experienced. Only that's the reason was there. But Tissera Pereira being left out was something uh, which I didn't take, because Tissera Pereira thought bowled very well in the first test. And he also is an all-rounder, so he can bat also, and he is also is bowling. So I was a bit surprised that uh, Tisra Pereira was left out of the squad. But well, uh, the Sri Lankan think tank are the ones who actually take the decisions. In the meanwhile, Fernando comes in and bowls to Cook. Cook get it, gets it on the middle end leg stump, and he has pushed the ball uh, to the cover region, and he won't get any run. So the score stays on for England and 151 for four. Uh, this year we are in the session two right now, um, just before tea time. Alistair Cook is not out on 66. Uh, Ian Morgan uh, is not out on 18. Well, another uh, probably um, another 20 minutes to go for T. As in comes Fernando, bowls to Cook. Uh, Cook is once again playing it. Uh, uh, I mean, in fact, Cook this time has cracked the delivery for a f boundary. So Cook has got his 12th boundary in his score of 70. England score moves on to 155 for 4. Uh, as uh, Cook actually carved this delivery from Fernando for a boundary. Um, well, Morgan has been looking aggressive, 18 of 25 balls with 2 fours and 1 6. And uh, finally, as I said, the bowling has been good. Suranga Lakmal has been bowling in the good area. Chanka Velagadra has impressed. Uh, the other bowlers, uh, to a certain extent, the spin, uh, spin has been there, but as I thought uh, there was a greenish tinge of the pitch, and that was the precise reason uh, Sri Lanka went with Chanaka Velagadra. And that has uh, really, really proved uh, right so far. In the meanwhile, we are waiting for Fernando to come in, uh, run in and bowl to Alistair Cook. Alistair Cook is batting on 70 right now. Uh, as And this time, well, the first uh, the, the, the previous delivery uh, was uh, square driven for four by Alistair Cook. And this time, Cook has put once more the next delivery also for another boundary. So two fours in succession uh, by um, Cook of the bowling of Vilhara Fernando. Uh, this was uh, not a good delivery from Fernando. Uh, in fact, uh, it was Cook who cashed in and put him through the offside for a boundary. So Cook is doing very well there. He's not out on 74 with 13 fours. Ian Morgan is not out on 18 with two fours and one six. England currently, um, I would say Sri Lanka definitely, definitely having the upper hand. England reduced to 159 for four. In the meanwhile, Fernando comes in and bowls to Cook and Cook won't get any runs. So the score stays at 159 for four. 
So, dear fans, subscribers, and friends for Cricket Happenings, uh, this is your host Ram. Just going to sign off for the day. Uh, if I have get time coming back from work, I will give you a full match report on the first day's play in this first end part, second end part test between England and Sri Lanka. Uh, well, also tomorrow is you know the first 2020 match between India and West Indies kicks off the tour. Uh, we are all waiting very eagerly for that. I hope you as well. Thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings. This is your host Ram signing off. Thank you.